Hello, my name is Peppy and welcome to Save Your Spot. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make these little cute clip art people just using PowerPoint. You only need some very basic skills. Um, I do hope you like them. You can get as creative as you want and do all sorts of things. Um, so let's get started. Right, so first you open up a new presentation or a new slide, choose the blank one and I'll bring one down so that we can, so you can see it, let's, let's bring her. So there she is and let's create someone else, not her, not the same one, um, a different one, I'm just going to make it up as I go along. So go to shapes and choose uh, the one that says curve it's this one so click on that and what that will do is that will allow you to create a shape for the face um, it's not going to be a perfect circle although you can use the perfect circle if you want i just like this because i just think it's a bit more realistic as nobody has a perfectly round head so as you can see when you go around and click what it does, it just makes um, the joins curved. So you get a sort of headish shape. <laughs> um, as soon as it is filled like that, you know uh, you've completed the shape. So you, you can double click and there you have. Now you can make it bigger, smaller. You can adjust it if you're not quite happy with it. I think it's fine um, and then you highlight it and you of course unless you want a blue face and that's fine choose a color to fill it so you go to shape fill and you can choose whatever color you want here are some of mine that I chose before let's go with this one now I quite like uh, the lines to be dark so I'm going to go and change that, uh, turn it to black and make the weight, personally I like four and a half uh, points but you can make it as thick or as thin as you like or you don't even have to have it, it's completely up to you. So there's our head shape and I don't know if we should make a boy or a girl, let's go for a girl. Now. Basically, all you're doing is using these shapes that you have available here. And again, you can get as creative as you want. Um, now let's see, go for, I'm gonna go for curly hair. So for the curly hair, I use this little balloony thing. And we can make like these little pigtails for her. Yeah. I like that and again um, shape outline black get the weight keep it the same whatever you choose I advise you keep the weight the same for all the lines it, I just think it looks better and then I'm gonna copy this over to the other side <laughs> yeah and yeah I think that can be how it makes me and make it a little bit bigger. Now again, don't worry if it's not perfect. I mean, nobody has perfect hair. Nobody is perfect. There is perfection in imperfection. That's what I say. <laughs> I'm stop talking now. Um, yeah. And what color should we make her hair? Should we go for a dark brown? Oops, sorry, that was the shape line. Shape fill have to highlight it shape fill let's go for dark brown maybe not so dark maybe maybe that one 
Mm-mm, not sure. Yeah, I think I like the the first one shape though. Yes. So maybe a bit closer. Again, play around with it, see what you like. And um, I think that looks kind of cute. Uh, for the face, now if you don't want these to move around on their own, highlight it and right click and group them. Okay, so then you have them all as one shape. And then as you can see, you can just make that bigger or smaller. Now for the eyes, I personally like these little dots for eyes. You can make little rectangles, but that's what I use. I use the, the square one, this one, and just make a little tiny um, square. Again, outline. Now here, just make sure you fill it in black. So black and the outline, again, we want black. Now, you don't have to make this four, uh, four and a half points for the weight of it. Is it points? I think it's points. Um, but you can. Oops, sorry. Copy, paste. Now, these are a little bit tricky. Uh, to move around so try and get that move yeah got it okay now move it to where you like it oops that's a bit far okay so here we have it we have the eyes as you can see they are not perfect but I think they look cute and for the smile, I love this big smile, just so <laughs> quirky and cute. Go to shapes, again use this one that says curve and make your super cute smile. Okay. <laughs> Double click where you want it to stop and There you go, uh, shape outline black, again, four and a half. And for some reason it didn't group before, so I'm gonna group it now. There's a new features, cool. should all be in one now. Um, just so that they don't move around, there you go. Now, you can add these little lines here for the smile. I think that looks kind of cute. For you see some eye, I did them, for some I didn't. Um, let's go ahead and add them so I can show you how to do that. Again, you go to your shapes. So basically, for this, all you use are these shapes. You just get creative and you see how you can use them. So you go to the one that says line and draw a small line. Again, shape outline, black. I mean, whatever you do, you're gonna keep going back to this weight, whatever you've chosen, and there it is. And then you can move that there. See, cute, <laughs> I like it. And copy, paste, um, and move it to the other side. And make, make, just a little, give it a little bit, um, so it's not perfectly straight, there you go. Maybe that one just go move it slightly. Ooh. There. Now to make the bow or the hair clip. So for these hair clips here, I used just a simple rectangle, and I'm going to show you how to make the bow. I think she'll look cute with two little bows. So again, shapes, and you're going to choose the circle this time. There you go, make it as big as you want. Actually, let's make it quite big now so you can see it. And then we'll make it smaller. 
whatever color I'm gonna go with red I think shape fill outline again black and the dashes four and a half and now for the bits at the side little bow bits you're gonna go to shape and you're gonna use the hearts so turn it around there you go duplicate it copy paste turn it around and you're going to again shape outline black actually I might do all of that um, all highlight it shape outline black fill red and the weight four and a half okay now you bring this to the front how do you do that you right click and then bring to front there you go and they have the little bow and again you can adjust it just so it looks a bit more like a bow and then group it highlight it right click right click group so now again it's all one thing and you can adjust it there we go <laughs> Oh my god, cute. Copy, paste, so she can have two cute little bows. One, maybe this way. Okay, so there we have it. Um, yeah, do you think she looks cute? I do. Now, for the body, again. So these don't move around, like so. I'm gonna group them. It lets me highlight, right click, group, group. So there we have it. Now for the body, you can either choose this semicircle, semicircle, or you can choose like a squarish shoulder one, um, whatever you like. So for her, I'd say I'm gonna go for the semicircle. Um, so choose this one. Do you see it? So just make that, put it there, turn it around and place it there. Oh, I forgot to do the ears actually, I'll do that next. So make it as big as you want. Just move the little bits to the side and there we go. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it looks quite cute. Now, again, outline black, you know the deal now. Weight, four and a half. And for the shape fill, you can choose lots of things here. You've got your solid standard colors. You can add a picture. You can choose a gradient um, or texture or patterns even. So let's go with mm, gradient or from here you can choose pattern fill. Let's go with pattern, shall we? Oh, yes, I like that. Um, change the color. I'm gonna go with red. Oh yes, definitely, I like that. Um, Put it to the back, center the back, so it's behind her head. There we go. And then you can, I don't know, add a collar, add necklace. He's a little baby here, so he has a bib. You can use triangles for a collar as well. And what should we do for her? Let's see. Um, Sure. Okay, just make it how you like it. I'm a little bit particular with things like that, so <laughs> sorry, it's taking a while. Um, I think that will do. Like a little collar there. 
and again your outline oops and I'm gonna go maybe with the white fill white collar nice crisp white collar I mean she does look cute doesn't she now for the ears again I'm going to make sure I group this so they don't start moving around hopefully it's worked should have worked and for the ears now you don't have to put ears but I'm going to just so I can show you how to do that again you're going to use this semicircle um, shape and just turn it around um, move it there okay and again same shape outline four and a half and there okay and for the inner one you're going to copy the same and just make it a little bit for the inner ear you can make it a little bit smaller and put it back there okay maybe a little bit smaller. and move it there and you know again no two ears are identical so if it's a little bit off don't worry about it it just adds to the cuteness i think and make you can make the outer ear a little bit bigger you don't have to put the outer ear um center back um but I think it looks cute with an inner and outer ear. There, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, try and make it a little bit. Ooh. There. Okay, we could add some earrings actually. Some nice little pearl earrings. So I'm going to go with a circle. Yes. Oops. And shape outline, same thing. Let's see what she looks like with earrings. She might look a bit weird. She look a bit. <laughs> no, I think that's fine. Okay. There we go. Yes. There. Okay. So there she is. We're done. I hope this was helpful. Get creative make your own and before we go again don't forget to group all those little shapes together okay and there we have it she's our new little figure so i'm gonna add them back she's already there so i'm gonna add her <laughs> back here oops there we go and there we have it there she is of course you can add your logo if you want um but there you go so i hope i hope this was helpful and um, it inspires you to get creative thanks for watching bye